Hi guys, uh, part two of my Halloween project. Um, looks like this is going to be more than a, a two-part series, uh, mainly because I keep getting different ideas. Uh, still haven't decided what to actually build to make my scary thing for Halloween with flashing eyes. Um, part one was producing this little circuit for flashing the eyes. Obviously I'd have to put these LEDs somewhere, into eyes somewhere. Um, and it's fun to build and I fully intend to use it. But I've been down my local pound land today and see what's actually already available in the flashing LED market. Um, first of all, go for the simple things. Uh, this is a bike light, rear light. I've already opened it and put the batteries in it. Um, I was quite keen on it because it actually says has two flashing modes and three running light modes. Um, obviously if, as it was in pound land it's only a pound. And as I say I've put batteries in it already. So we've got a straightforward on. Press the button again. Flickering pretty well. Press the button again. Slow flash. Press the button again and we got sort of quite a varied flash there. Press it again. Slightly different flash sequence. Press it again. And that should have gone off. Come on. There we are. Right, that's off. Okay, so that's one option. Uh, it's quite a simple circuit in there. Um, well, it's actually tucked behind that little strip of LEDs, so it's not going to be very big. But I could extend wires from those LEDs, or at least from the sockets that they're in, and mount that in some sort of uh, Halloween item. So that's one option. Another fairly obvious option is this little fella. has flashing eyes. They actually, the sequence changes as it goes along slightly. So again, that's only a pound. And I could use that exactly as it is, or I could take the bits out and mount those eyes somewhere else. Uh, as far as motion sensors go, you may remember I hacked this um, little unit out of a motion sensor frog that croaks. Um, if I take that out, it still croaks. I actually mo I actually modified it and put a little vibrating motor on it so that it vibrates and moves along. But I could use that motion sensor as part of my project. Uh, this motion sensor was out one of those singing birds. Um, again I hacked it to make it into a little vibrating um, bug. Same thing applies, I could use it use the motion sensor on it. See I stuck a vibrating motor under it. I could use that as a sensor for my Halloween project. Um, came across this as well. Uh, another bike light. This one says it does a constant light and two flashing modes. Um, five LEDs on it. I did try this. Uh, it flashed once and then it died. So um, a little bit disappointing that. Having said that, I've taken it apart. The actual battery holder is quite handy. Holds four of these AAA batteries. Um, the actual circuitry is that little white blob. 
Um, but as I say, it doesn't actually work, which is a bit unfortunate. The LEDs work. If I short across there and press the button, the LEDs work alright, the switch works, but um, obviously there's either a disconnection there somewhere or that little bit of circuitry has died, which is a shame. On the other hand, purely from a, a use point of view, as I say, that, that's a handy little holder for four AAA batteries. And you've got a push switch there as well. And you've got five LEDs, but in this case that little bit of circuitry doesn't work, so I can't show that working. So that's just a few alternative ideas for animating your Halloween scary thing, whatever it may be, that I haven't decided yet. So another update to come, part three.